I'm Phil, the Senior Applications Engineering Manager here at Epson. Today we'll review the all-in-one series of robots that Epson offers. We offer two four-axis models, the T3 and the T6, and we offer one six-axis model, the VT6L. The VT6L has additional options for clean room and washdown and different mounting options that we'll talk about a little bit later. Let's start with the T-Series robot. The T3 robot, this is a four-axis SCARA, has four degrees of freedom, joints one, two, three, and four. Joint three moves up and down, joint four rotates. We refer to this as the all-in-one family of products because everything you need to run this robot is in the base of the robot. In the base of this arm, we have I.O. control, we have communications, we have amplifiers, we have power conversion, everything you need to run this robot. We also have an option slot built into the base of the robot for different kinds of field bus protocols. Included with this robot purchase is the Epson RC Plus software necessary to program it. So just about everything you need to run this robot is built right into the base of this arm. The T3 has a reach of 400 millimeters, has a Z-axis stroke of 150 millimeters, and can carry up to three kilograms payload. We have a fixed number of IO points built into the base of the robot, but a nice feature is that we have distributed points of IO up on the arm. This is where you do the work, so this is where the points are terminated. We provide voltage to the end of arm as well. We can drive up to a half amp for the outputs. We have four inputs and two outputs for simple pick and place applications with parallel grippers or vacuum control where you can sense to see if a part's been picked up or not. This robot allows full integration into the Epson RC Plus environment. And what that means is that options such as machine vision are available and you can add fully functional vision system. A unique feature of the all-in-one is that you can run on selectable voltage. This means that you can run on 110 standard wall voltage, uh, or you can run on 208 or 220, which is a single phase, higher voltage seen in factories. Either way, there is nothing to select. You either wire for 110 or you wire for 208. We take care of the voltage conversion inside the base of the controller. The design concept of this robot is to replace complex slide systems uh, or custom made two, three, or four axis gantry or slide based devices. This system was designed to replace systems that require heavy maintenance, things that require a lot of fine tuning, uh, or hands on time to keep it running. All this for a price of under $7,500 for the T3 and under $9,500 for the T6. These robots are designed to replace other systems that may not be as flexible. For example, pneumatic pick and place systems. Uh, due to the air cylinder strokes, you only go to a couple of positions and that's all it does. With this robot, you can replace multiple components with a single robot, four axes of control, up to three kilogram payloads and repeatabilities of 20 microns. Another feature of the all-in-one series are the battery-less encoders, so there is no need to shut down production to replace the batteries. With the built-in I.O. we have at the back of the robot, you can slave the controller, or rather the robot, into a PLC or an industrial controller. You can create a touch panel interface as your point of control, or you can run it right from a PC. The communication interface with the robot is the USB interface on the back. As soon as you plug in a PC to the robot with Epson RC Plus environment, we know what the robot is and we know what kind of robot it is. Another communication option is Ethernet TCP IP, which is a standard protocol uh, where you can network this robot and many other robots into a common network. You can start, stop, control, monitor for system conditions uh, like e-stop, safeguard, you can actually pull data out of the controller, such as I.O. conditions. The other communication options I mentioned earlier are field bus. We have multiple field bus options uh, available with this robot. You literally plug in a mini field bus option card into the back port, and from that it will recognize the type of option card, and from there, in the Epson RC Plus interface, you can configure those points of control. It's really a distribution of inputs and outputs for a PLC or some other device. A new software option we have is Add-on Instructions, which is a set of instructions pre-built specifically for Allen Bradley PLCs. We also have airlines that are run through the robot. We have two six millimeter airlines and one four millimeter connection. This allows you to get air through the base of the arm up to the top of the arm. So if you wanna have a small IO block on the end of the arm for faster IO control, you can do that. With the air already plumbed along with the pre-wired inputs and outputs, it makes it very 
easy, simple, and fast for implementing applications. And that is really the design concept of this machine. Simple applications, fast and easy integration. The T6 Scare All-in-One has the same features as we discussed. However, it's a six kilogram max payload, 600 millimeter reach arm with 200 millimeters of Z-axis stroke. Now we'll talk a little bit about the VT6L. This robot is an incredible value for the dollar for what you're paying and what you're getting is uncommon in the industry with a base price of 13,900. The VT6L also has a controller built right into the base. There is no space allocated in your rack. You don't have to worry about cabinet space or cable management. This helps keep the integration simple, which is the concept of this machine for quick, simple applications. The VT6L has a 900 millimeter reach arm out to joint five center P point. We have a full workspace, all six degrees of freedom with a six kilogram payload. You will notice that we have a couple of options mounted on this robot. We have our cable management system mounted up. We provide brackets that bolt into the existing tap holes for mounting cables to. Something unique to Epson is the J5, J6 through hole design. This allows us to plumb wires and air through J6 right out to your tool. The advantage there is that you don't have to account for cable wrap or additional cables or service loops. Typically you would have lines wrapped around the arm to get down to the tooling. In this case, we can go right through J6. This through hole feature and the optional cable management makes it easier for installation when it's out in the field. We also have a camera bracket on this robot. This was designed so it can work with the cable management system we also sell high flex cables that go along with the vision system. So everything that goes to this robot is built for factory automation. Notice the size and footprint of this robot. It's relatively small for the payload that the robot can handle. But more impressive is the moment capabilities of joints four, five, and six. You might think, what does moment have to do with the application? In real world applications, the tooling that you are putting on the end of the arm gets large quick or it might have significant offsets, which is not uncommon on six axis applications. Whereas the T-Series robots are designed for very small single headed tools designed on center. Some of the features of this robot is that you can plug in an optional teach pendant on both the VT6L and the T-Series robots. Teach pendants will give you full interface control. You can jog the robot, teach points, access programs, uh, and also control the robot. So you can start and stop the robot from the teach pendant. One of the key market applications for the VT6L is the injection molding and machine tending environment that immediately leads to larger moment, larger tooling, and better load control as a requirement. So you can imagine this robot going into a mold machine with a large tool, pulling out parts with a large surface area. The moment for the VT6L is impressive for the payload capabilities. The VT6L also allows you to run on 110 or 220 voltage. It's around 1200 watts to run this robot. Just like the T-Series, just wire it and plug it in. Optional environments you have on this machine are the clean room options. We have a washdown option available also. Going back to target markets, the washdown version is good for machine tanning where oil and cutting fluids are in the environment. To work within these tight environments, the engineers spent a lot of time focusing on a slimline design to provide as much access as possible. Notice the casting design allows for as much motion as possible based on the arm design. The arm is very slim without motors or gearboxes that would interfere with getting into machining centers. We also have multiple mounting options. This robot can be inverted and mounted on the ceiling or tabletop. Simply by changing the settings in the controller, you can reconfigure how the robot is used. Communications are the same as the T-Series. We have the standard TCP IP connections. The programming connection is via USB. And we have the same slave board options for field bus communications. Epson has a common control environment used on the T-Series and the VT-Series. And really, all the robots are on the same platform. So if you learn how to program one, you've learned how to program all of them. Thank you for your interest in all-in-one series of robots. We look forward to hearing from you soon.